was Gary Don Wright from uh, Denison. Well, for some reason, we didn't like each other. I don't know why, I don't know how it started. Um, we never fought. We just didn't like each other. And Saturdays, when he'd do something good, he got an interception and made a big tackle. I'd be the first one there to high five him. Hugging each other, high five him. Why was that? Right. We had we shared a common goal, and we were able to look past the fact we didn't like each other because that was more important. He knew I needed him to do plays on Saturday, and he needed me to help him get ready to make plays on Saturday. We need each other. And, and I say we. Everybody, not just this class. <clears throat> and America spends so much time just trashing each other, destroying each other, ripping each other apart. Um, I've seen Twitter before, so... Um, but we need to help each other, care about each other, you know. It, and you feel better, they feel better, we turn out better. So, that's it, that's right. Um, I'm excited today, very excited today. This is Tuesday, and I don't have a gym, a training center to take care of you. I got it done last night. Somebody asked me when the hunter was. <laughs> I said, well, it's going to be a chapter in hunting. Chapter in hunting. I'm always very smart out. Chapter in hunting. Well, what is it? That's for real. Got our quote for today from Charlie Mays, I think it is. Charles Mays, M-A-Y-S. Charles Mays. He said, make sure the thing you're living for is worth dying for. Make sure the thing you're, worth li you're living for is worth dying for. you're living for is worth dying for. Insta chat ain't worth dying for, I tell you. You said that by you? Charles, Charles Mays. I don't know if that's Willie's brother. But Charles Mays. Alright, we'll finish this and we'll how much time we got. We got it. You can do whatever you need to do. First part to review. I can get you. We have a new student. We'd like to welcome a new student. Your name is Ian Plunkay. Yeah, okay. like Friends? Yeah. Friends? 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 Yeah. Anybody else need this? Anybody else need this? Carl Beagle. Anybody else? We all good? Good. Okay. We got. What's land? Resources. Resources you use to make a living. That's land. Mine's a whistle. Mine's a hat. Shorts. Bottle. And what's that like? Bottle. Bottle, yeah. Well, I'm going to make a living in water. Yeah. And I don't plan on it. That, that takes some work. It takes effort. No, it's a Yeah, it is. I do. Less of it now. I'm never going to do this again. Are you going to miss it? Miss it, 
challenge of it, I won't miss the bat. I won't miss that one. has to get done, who's going to do it? You or you or you, you or somebody else. Either you or you pay somebody. Either one. Could be both. I had to replace the front left wheel on my mower. <clears throat> Over the past couple of years, I've had to you know, fix a flat, it, go air it up. It keeps losing air. Well, finally, the last time I mowed, it completely came unconnected to the wheel. It's not sealed to a wheel anymore. So I can't do it. I can either order a new wheel and tire from John Deere, just like what's on it. What would be great about that? I know it. There's no problems at all. Put it on, ready to go. I'll, I almost got. I wanted to get a no flat solid oh, yeah. wheel that way I don't have to mess with flat seats. What's the drawback of those? Expensive. They are expensive and it don't doesn't get as good a traction. Okay. When they move until they break it. So I said I'm only gonna buy one now, I can buy another one later. The cheapest one I could find that was actually made for John Deere was With washer adapters. Now I changed it on stuff. I don't have a jack. So I changed it myself. I, I, I untightened it, lifted it up, and pulled that thing out, and that's easy. And put it back on. I got it in, and it couldn't, and I finally just set it down so the pacer was home. I went inside. So I had the pacer here. Disposed at that time. It was in a part of the room, part of the house, part of the room where you go every once in a while. The nature hall <laughs> was in there. So I said, okay, so I went back and I got it done. But it was hard to. One of the washers is the right kind, the other one was a little bit too small. So as I was mowing, I noticed it was a little off, so I got to figure out how to do it right. I'm going to get a jack. I had to labor myself. It could have took somebody, but I'm not paying someone to put a wheel on my mower. My gosh, I'm not doing that. Um, capital. No. Yeah, capital. What's capital? You own. Could be money. Could be stuff. You own it, and you use it to make a profit. Now, I don't own a jack. I'm going to go for one. So that would be land. I'm going to go get a resource from somebody else that's not mine. I don't own it, but I'm going to use it. Okay? I own the wheel. I own the, the bench and the ratchet set. I remember the first time I got a ratchet set. That was my, that was like my first step to being a man. It was like I had a little ratchet set. Like Got the matching wrenches with it. It's like a wrench. And entrepreneur. Well, you know, there's two things entrepreneurs do. Take risk. First, they do that second. They do take risk. They're willing to take a risk. They see opportunity before they have it. See the opportunities before they happen, bless you, and then they take a risk. They're willing to take a risk. My best friend Lane, he had a kid a couple years before me, and we had our kid, and we'd visit each other. 
any kids may play. But we were sitting down on the back porch one time. Talk about baby clothes. Baby clothes are pansy. And back then, in the 99, 2000, you couldn't find very many non-pansy baby clothes. There's a lot more of a selection now. Your choices, they have to have the, because you got to be able to access everything easily. So you have to have the snaps down. But your choices was blocks, toy boat, bear, choo-choo train. That's basically what you Every like NFL team, baseball team, college basketball team, why can't you have like a, a jeans and cowboy shirt? Why can't you have a I mean, there would be a way you could make this to where you had all this cool stuff and everybody would buy one. If you made cool baby clothes, then you could still get the stuff out. Every baby born, someone would buy one of those. Make a killing. So we have this opportunity. We're not willing to take a risk. Number one, we don't want to save the money. Number two, we don't want to sell it. So we can't make this stuff. We'd either have to pay someone to make a bunch of samples, or if we went and talked to a clothes company about it, they'd say that's stupid, and they would steal it and they would make the clothes. So I'm not willing to take a risk. So I'm not offering. That's my ideas. They make cooler baby clothes now. <laughs> the, the, we were talking about just like the newborn. Just the, just the, I don't know if I've seen that. Yeah, they have that. But I was talking about the baby. You know the little onesie things? Yeah. Snake doing something cool with that. Uh, but they have more of that. Titan had way more cool, cool stuff than the boys. Titan cool. Didn't have it. Really? Who is? Okay. Well, <laughs> incentives. Yeah, we got the line joint. What is an incentive? Makes you want to do stuff. The th get it's motivation. Reasons to do. Sometimes the government will offer tax incentives if you, for instance, put uh, solar panels. If you buy an electric car, you might get a tax incentive, or that'd be a reason to try that. Biz uh, cities will offer businesses tax incentives to move there or to, to do certain things. Um, there's incentives to try at school. There's incentives to sometimes if you go, if you get employed here, if you'll sign today, we'll give you a thousand dollar bonus or we'll give you this or we'll give you that. Just makes you motivation to make you want to do something. <clears throat> Say you got a twenty dollar bill. And you're going to eat with a friend in Dallas. You're gonna meet a friend in Dallas, eat at this restaurant that you never get to go to, but you love this place, so you're excited, you got your twenty in your wallet, and you pass this store where you saw this shirt. Few months ago, that you really liked, but it was too expensive. We got a sign outside, it's on sale for 15 bucks. Can you do both? No. Mm -hmm. Can you do both? If you buy the shirt, you give up the opportunity to go eat. If you go eat, you give up the opportunity to buy the shirt. So you have to make a choice. Now, on scarcity, did I emphasize the choice part? Mm -hmm. Iron truck and because of scarcity, you have to make choices. You can't have needs and wants fulfilled. So, if you go, opportunity cost means what? How many times do you spend that twenty? One time. You can only spend your money one time. Now, you might have opportunity for other money, but that dollar, that twenty, can only be spent one time. And once you use it, you give up the opportunity to use it on something. Every time you buy something, you miss out on the chance of buying something else with that money. There's something else I got wrote down here. What is that? It's a time. Time is way more important than money. What's the big deal about time? Never mind. You 
can make a double check next week, but you will never get more time. All you're doing is getting less time. So however you use your time, just 50 minutes, however we use it, it's up to you. It's not, we either use it good or we, or we waste it. So with your time, you really got to think about how am I using it. Y'all don't think about it much because y'all got a billion years. I think about it more, but I don't have a billion years. And I have more time than that to see if it's not about wasted. <clears throat> the best year I had in college, I worked, I cleaned the pool in the mornings. Then I was a swimming pool, not the swimming pool. Because they were I cleaned that in the mornings, had class from 8 to 12. Lunchtime, I'd either eat or work out, I'd do track workout. I had a full-time job, so I was four hours in the office, and then I'd come back and either eat supper or do my track workout, and then I had four hours out in the baseball, softball field, and still volleyball, and stuff, I had all the little things to see. <coughs> and that was the best year I ever had. I had, I got better grades, I had more fun, I had money, it was all because I had to prioritize He's like, oh, I'll do that later. And I would just put it off. I had extra time. When I didn't have extra time, I was forced to plan out. And I would combine sometimes at work in the office. It was a dead time. I could study then. I would get more work done and study at the same time. I could, I could do things at multiple times. So, anyway. I'll show you the call. That makes sense? Maybe. Efficiency. If something's efficient, what does it mean to be efficient? You have a lot done quickly. Yeah. You, you don't waste. You get the most out of the least. And you want to be efficient with your time. You want to be efficient with your money. Whenever I do a project, I'll write it out. Sound. long time ago, our kitchen table. I drew out what I wanted, planned out how much wood I needed, how much stuff I needed for it, tried to get everything, you know, really thought about it, go to Lowe's, buy everything, come home, start building it. Any project I do, it doesn't matter how much planning, it's going to be three trips. It makes me so mad. So I get in the middle of it and get to something on the ground, so where is it? Oh my gosh, why did I? there and I get mad so I do it real fast and I'll stop and think okay let's look around let's go and come back and then I'll always gonna have to go back <coughs> time when I do something. so that's not very efficient okay you gotta be efficient uh, does anybody plan on doing business stuff in college business degree or something like that you will get to take macro and micro economics we're gonna do this it took us 56 seconds Macro and microeconomics. Let's look at macro first. What would microeconomics be? Small. small. They look at the small picture, which is not. They always give the example of, say, a car dealership's impact on a city. One car dealership affects the economy of the city. That would be micro. What would macro be? Big. Big. The big picture. Say GM, Ford, their impact on the U.S. economy or the world economy. A macro economist looks at the big picture, and the macroeconomist looks at the small picture. 59.9. That's all we're gonna. That's all I have to say about that. If you want to go learn about <laughs> macro and microeconomics, you can go to college and learn all about that. My roommate took both those classes. The books were that thick. I don't know, but that's all we're gonna do. Is that okay with y'all?
that's all I have to say about Vietnam. Adam Smith. What do you remember about Adam Smith? <laughs> After we, so, uh, I don't know. I'm going to guess. I don't know if it's an S or Z. It's an S. It's on the bottom of the page. I think that's close. There's an I there. What's that? There's an I there. I did it, but I did it fast. Oh, that was perfect. Okay. It doesn't matter. I don't feel good about myself because I spelled something. It doesn't make me feel better. It doesn't make me feel bad if I misspell something. I don't care. Spelling's not a part of my life. What do you hear about the laws they fair theory? The government should stay out. Stay out. Be lazy. No government regulation. He said the economy will regulate itself. Businesses will regulate themselves. He, did, he said this because he knew human beings act in a certain way. One or, what, what, there's one word that describes every human being. Greed, selfish. Yes, selfish. We're all selfish. And because we're selfish, we are always going to act in ways we feel like benefits us. Do you agree with that? Always, everything behind everything we do is going to be some sort of benefit for us. If I go to this store, why would I go to a store? Because I feel like it benefits me. They either treat me right, I like their prices, I like their stuff. I'm going to stop going to a place that doesn't benefit me anymore. And he said, basically, that's. That is, on number 16, that is the invisible hand. That's part of it. Does that make sense? Invisible hands like good thinking. Well, the, the business is, is going to do something to benefit the customers. That's going to guide the business owner's decisions. same time, the market is the invisible hand also. Because as a store owner, does anyone tell you to order more stuff? No. What tells you to order more stuff? How much of it's gone? Things are leaving the store. People are buying it. So the market tells you, I'm, you're guided to order more stuff. You're guided to lower your price when you have too much. He, fit, he said the economy will handle itself. This is what handle sells. The government doesn't need to get involved. Just reading it. I've seen parts of it. Unless you have severe insomnia. And if you really want to torture yourself, you pay a penance for something, here you go. I'll tell you the name of it. The actual name is not Wealth of Nations. The actual, the actual name of it. Nature and causes of the wealth of nations. That's the title. So we're just going to call it wealth of nations. Mm -hmm. about that? Is that what it did after the death penalty? Hmm? Is that what happens after the death penalty? Yes. 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 Sure. You can either get the death penalty or. <laughs> <laughs> in theory of what? Though. 